Many clients that contact us have been a victim of some type of online fraud or scam and have wired money to a party and then realize later that that wire transfer was fraudulent. Sometimes it's an escrow fraud where people send money for a real estate transaction to their title company and find out that the email they received from their title company was fraudulent and they actually wired their closing funds, their purchase money, their down payment to some scammer or fraudster. Sometimes it's an investment that turns out it's a scam. Well, in the past, it's always been a lost cause or a hope that you can't get any money back. Well, a lot of people don't realize the FBI has a procedure that can be used to recover funds that are already sent out. Sometimes banks don't even know about this. What is that called? It's called the financial fraud kill chain. And it's a procedure where the FBI uses a certain banking procedure to reverse funds that are sent to a fraudster. And here's some of the details on it. It's performed by financial institutions for victim fund recovery. Normal bank procedures should be conducted. And the financial fraud kill chain can only be imp implemented if the fraudulent wire transfer meets the criteria. It has to be 50000 or above. So if you've only lost 49900 you can't do this. But if you've lost 50000 or above, you can. If the wire transfer was international, if it was sent overseas, which many of these scammers do, you also have to put in a swift call recall notice, and the wire transfer must have occurred within the last 72 hours. However, we have seen where sometimes that last criteria can be handled another way. So if it's been longer than 72 hours, don't give up hope. So what do you have to do? In order to initiate the financial fraud uh, kill chain, you have to give the following information to the FBI from the bank. The name of the victim, location, the original bank name, uh, account numbers, and then where the money went to. The SWIFT code has to be included, the amount in transaction, and if there's any other information, for example, forwarding information. A lot of these wire transfers have an FFC, which is where they forward the money to afterwards. This is the basics of the FFKC. Where does this come into play? Well, FinCEN um, has this rapid response program, which is part of this, and it's recovered more than a billion dollars for U.S. victims. And this was back a year ago. There's even been more since then. What is the success rate? Well, first, let's look at the flow. The victim of the cyber fraud files a complaint with law enforcement. Law enforcement refers it to FinCEN, and then FinCEN works with the um, FIU, the investigative unit, to activate the rapid response. And when that happens, it goes into their kill chain system, the financial fraud kill chain. Success rate is 74%. They have responded to 1,700 incidents. Now, this is going back to 2021, which is for the prior year, but there's been more than 2,000 incidents now with a 74% success rate of recovering funds using this FFKC. What types of fraud does this uncover? Well, criminals use the banking system to deceive a party to send funds using wire transfer to the wrong location. Um, they send false wire instructions from a criminal attempting to redirect legitimate payments to a bank account controlled by fraudsters. And this happens many, many times with uh, real estate transactions. If you have purchased a property and you have a closing scheduled with a title company, the title company normally sends you closing instructions where they give you wire transfer information, account routing numbers, and you wire your down payment to that um, account. Well, what happens is the criminals will insert themselves into your email chain. They'll spoof the email, they'll hack the email, and they'll tell you, here's your wire instructions. It'll have all the, the logos, contact information for that company, and you wire your money, and now it's gone. This FFKC, financial fraud kill chain, is a way to attempt recovering that money from a fraudulent wire transfer. Another way to avoid it is before you send your whole down payment, send a small test um, payment. We've talked about this before. Send 20 bucks, 100 bucks, 1,000 bucks to the wire. Contact the 
title company directly by phone or walking in the door asking them if they received it. If they did, now you know that account number is good and then you can wire the rest of it using the same information. But if you have fallen a victim, be aware of this FFKC, financial fraud kill chain, as a means to recover the money. And you can use the information in the links below or you can arrange a consultation with our company um, using Teleclient. But this is a way to attempt to recover money. Again, it has to be over $50,000 and the fraudster has to be international, not in the U.S.